We often associate bullying with school hallways and childhood playgrounds. But the truth is, bullying persists into adulthood, often more subtly and with devastating consequences. Studies reveal that one in five adults experiences workplace bullying, a startling statistic that underscores the pervasiveness of this issue. Bullying doesn't disappear when we grow up, it simply evolves. From malicious gossip and social exclusion to public humiliation and career sabotage, adult bullying takes many forms. It thrives in the shadows, often unnoticed or dismissed as just the way things are. What fuels this adult aggression? Insecurity, power dynamics, and a lack of empathy all play a role. Bullies, often driven by their own vulnerabilities, target individuals they perceive as weaker or different, seeking to elevate themselves by diminishing others. It's time to break the silence. Adult bullying is not a personal failing. It's a societal issue demanding our attention. Let's shed light on this hidden epidemic and empower individuals to recognize, confront, and ultimately prevent it. Adult bullying, like its childhood counterpart, is about power and control. It involves a pattern of repeated intentional behavior intended to harm, intimidate, or isolate another person. This behavior can be verbal, emotional, or even physical. Verbal bullying includes insults, threats, yelling, and spreading rumors. Emotional bullying involves humiliation, manipulation, social exclusion, and constant criticism. Physical bullying, while less common in adult settings, can range from aggressive gestures to physical assault. Bullying often festers in workplaces where power imbalances and competition create fertile ground for abuse. A demanding boss who belittles employees, a colleague who spreads malicious gossip, or a group that ostracizes a coworker. These are all examples of adult bullying. Recognizing the signs is crucial. Is someone consistently targeted with negative comments? Are they excluded from important meetings or social gatherings? Are their ideas dismissed or ridiculed? These red flags should not be ignored. The impact of adult bullying extends far beyond hurt feelings. Victims often experience a range of emotional, psychological, and even physical consequences. Anxiety, depression, insomnia, and PTSD are just a few of the mental health issues that can arise. The constant stress and fear can manifest physically as well. Victims may suffer from headaches, digestive problems, weakened immune systems, and even heart disease. The toll on their overall well-being is undeniable. Beyond the individual, bullying poisons the workplace environment. It creates a culture of fear and distrust, hindering productivity, creativity, and collaboration. Employees become afraid to speak up, share ideas, or take risks, stifling innovation and growth. The ripple effects extend beyond the workplace, impacting families, communities, and ultimately, society as a whole. Unresolved bullying can lead to broken relationships, financial instability, and a diminished sense of self-worth. If you're experiencing bullying, know that you're not alone and it's not your fault. The first step towards healing is acknowledging what's happening and understanding that you deserve respect and dignity. Don't suffer in silence. Reach out to someone you trust, a friend, family member, therapist, or human resources representative. Talking about what you're going through can provide emotional support and help you gain perspective. Documenting the bullying is crucial. Keep a detailed record of each incident, including dates, times, witnesses, and specific behaviors. This documentation will be invaluable if you decide to report the bullying or pursue legal action. Remember, your well-being is paramount. Prioritize self-care through activities that bring you joy and peace. Engage in exercise, meditation, or hobbies that nourish your soul and remind you of your strength and resilience. Section 5. Calling out the bully effective confrontation strategies. Confronting a bully can be daunting, but it's sometimes necessary to set boundaries and protect yourself. If you feel safe and comfortable doing so, consider addressing the behavior directly. Be calm, assertive, and direct. Use I statements to express how their behavior is impacting you. For example, you could say, I feel disrespected when you interrupt me in meetings. Don't engage in personal attacks or stoop to their level. Focus on the specific behaviors and their impact. The goal is to assert yourself and set clear boundaries, not to escalate the situation. If the bullying persists or you don't feel safe confronting the bully directly, involve a third party. Report the behavior to your supervisor, human resources department, or union representative. Section 6. 
The Power of Witnesses, Bystander Intervention. Bullying thrives in silence. Bystanders, those who witness bullying, have a crucial role to play in breaking this cycle. Silence is often interpreted as acceptance, emboldening the bully and further isolating the victim. If you witness bullying, don't be a passive observer. Speak up, challenge the behavior directly, or find a way to support the victim. Even a simple act of kindness can make a difference. Offer your support to the person being bullied. Let them know you see what's happening and that you're there for them. Listen without judgment and validate their feelings. If the situation feels unsafe or you're unsure how to intervene, report the bullying to someone in authority. Your voice matters. By speaking up, you can help create a safer environment for everyone. Section 7. Creating a Culture of Respect Prevention Strategies Preventing bullying requires a collective effort to foster a culture of respect, empathy, and inclusivity. This starts with leadership that prioritizes open communication, values diversity, and sets clear expectations for behavior. Implement robust anti-bullying policies that clearly define bullying, outline reporting procedures, and ensure consequences for perpetrators. These policies should be communicated widely and enforced consistently. Provide training and education to employees at all levels on bullying awareness, bystander intervention, and conflict resolution. Encourage open dialogue and create safe spaces for employees to voice concerns. Foster a positive and supportive work environment where everyone feels valued, respected, and heard. Celebrate diversity, encourage teamwork, and promote a sense of belonging for all employees. Section 8 healing the wounds, resources, and support for victims. For victims of bullying, healing takes time and support. Numerous resources are available to help individuals navigate the aftermath of bullying and rebuild their lives. Therapy can provide a safe and confidential space to process the experience, develop coping mechanisms, and address any emotional or psychological wounds. Support groups can also offer a sense of community and shared understanding. Organizations like the Workplace Bullying Institute and the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline offer valuable information, resources, and support for victims of bullying. Don't hesitate to reach out for help. Remember, healing is a journey, not a destination. Be patient with yourself, practice self-compassion, and celebrate your strength and resilience as you move forward. Section 9, Conclusion, A Call to Action. Bullying in all its forms is unacceptable. It's time to break the silence and create a world where everyone feels safe, respected, and valued. This requires a collective effort. We must all educate ourselves about bullying, challenge our own biases, and intervene when we witness injustice. Let's foster a culture of empathy, kindness, and respect. Together, we can create communities and workplaces where bullying is not tolerated and where everyone can thrive. Let's stand up, speak out, and be the change we wish to see in the world.